I just got 100 platinum trophies, so let's go over them. And then later we'll talk about some of the games I may play in the future. The first game here is Bloodborne. I don't have the DLC done for Bloodborne. I don't know when I'll do it. I have the DLC like purchased, but I haven't played it yet. 6.6% .6 of people have it, and this was my first ever Soulsborne game. I was ready to quit on this back when I played it in April, or was it March? Like March, April, whatever. It's pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie. And I have a video for this if you want to watch it later. And most of these games I have videos for, and I will let you know. It's a very challenging game, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes very fun. If you haven't played Bloodborne, I definitely recommend you to do it. This game made me want to go out and platinum all the Souls games, and there's actually another one that we're going to talk about here soon. This took me 78 hours. Next up is Subnautica. 7.6% of people have this platinum. If you don't know what this game is, it's like a sea exploration game where you're on some crazy planet, and there's like some really scary creatures in the ocean, and you just explore... You like find materials, you build stuff, and that's kind of what it is. It's an easy platinum and it gets especially easy if you use like this thing called dev console or dev controls or something where you kind of give yourself all the items you need to get the trophies and it makes it super easy. But I would recommend playing through the game naturally and doing it. Subnautica took me 18 hours. Next up is Astro's Playroom. 5.8% of people have this. I actually did a speedrun video for this game where I tried to speedrun all the trophies in under five hours. If you have a PS5 and you haven't played this, it's free, play it. It's an easy platinum and it's a fun game. I definitely would recommend it. Next up is Super Meat Boy. 0.4% of people have this, but I've heard that this is actually not a legitimate number. Apparently, if you have the PS Vita, you can do something to give yourself the trophies for this. I don't know the exact method, but someone did comment on it a while ago, but I don't remember the exact thing that he said. But I streamed this game and it was insane. If you were in those streams, you know the kind of struggle I went through to get this. This is my second hardest platinum ever. You'll see what the first one here, uh, the first, the, ah, I can't speak. The first hardest platinum ever got. You'll see what it is soon. But the reason why this game is so hard is because you have to do no death runs for like multiple worlds and each world has 20 levels. So you get through 20 levels without dying and you get a trophy for that specific world and you have to do that multiple times over for all the worlds and then just beating the game naturally is already a hard thing to do and when i was playing this and i was playing through the game normally i was like there's no possible way to actually get through these levels no death run like i don't i don't see how anyone can possibly get through these levels without dying like how but i was able to pull it off this video almost has a million views. It's a really good one. If you haven't seen it, you definitely need to. Super Meat Boy took me 262 hours. Next up is Elden Ring. 11.5% of people have this platinum and it is a challenging one. Now people say Elden Ring is the easiest Soulsborne platinum ever. Maybe that's true. I don't know. I haven't played the other one, so I can't really judge them. But that number 11.5% either speaks to the the difficulty of it not just not being very hard or you know, how good the game actually is where everyone who plays it just wants to get the platinum or maybe a mixture of both of those. But when I was playing this, I was low key addicted to it. I'm not going to lie. And I do have a video for this. The hardest trophy for this was just to beat Melania. I'm not going to spoil how I did that. If you have seen the video, you know what that was. Uh, if you haven't, definitely go see it. This game is really fun. I love it. I personally think it's going to win game of the year. Elden Ring was 111 hours. Next up is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I've done all the DLC for this. Now the DLC for Black Ops 3, are they're all zombies related trophies. But the Platinum itself, 0.1% of people have this. It is one of the most tedious Platinums I have to date. The hardest thing about this Platinum is you have to beat the game on realistic difficulty, which you're one shot the entire time. Now, luckily you can do this with a group. So if you have three other people to play with, you can team up and do this. It makes it a lot easier, but it still is not easy. On top of that, there's this trophy called Personal Decorator. 0.1% of people have this specific trophy. And that speaks volumes to how hard and tedious this is. It's insane. I'm not going to begin to try to explain everything you need to do for this because I would sit here. I would literally be talking for several minutes trying to explain it. But let that number speak for itself. Black Ops 3 says 681 hours, but I used to play the game casually, so I'm not sure. Next up is The Evil Within. Now, I actually don't have the DLC for this, and I will never be doing it because I actually really don't like this game. I think it's really bad. And you might be saying, well, Nick, if you didn't really like the game, why would you get the platinum for it? That was because I didn't know I didn't like the game until I had already started it and got some the trophies so at that point i didn't want to just quit you know i like to finish things that i start so i had to finish this and i was actually gonna make this a video until i realized i didn't like it and i didn't want to so i played it on stream instead and if you saw that then you know the struggle i went through to get this because there's this one specific trophy where you have to beat the game on a kumu difficulty which is the hardest difficulty in the game and you're one shot the entire time i don't know what's up with these games and having these difficulties where you get killed in one shot it's insane but you have to do multiple playthroughs for this game because you also have to do one where you don't upgrade anything at all and you just get through the game now luckily it's not on a kumu difficulty for that one but it's still tough but overall i did not like this game because 
because I felt like it was very unfair with some trap placements and it was very slow paced. I don't like how slow this game was. There, and there's a lot of other things I don't like about it, but or those were like the main two. 0.5% of people have this platinum. This took me 72 hours. Next up is Cuphead. Now this is a game I actually did enjoy and I got the DLC for this too. I have two Cuphead videos. One was for the main game, the second for the DLC. When I released a video for the main game, the DLC wasn't out yet, so I couldn't obviously make a video for it. So that's why there's two. 2.2% of people have the Cuphead Platinum. The hardest thing about this is beating the boss as an expert, at least in my opinion. I think that was actually really tough. Some of the bosses like Rumor Honey Bottoms, Grim Matchstick, um, who's another one? Like that train dude, I don't even remember his name. Bosses like that really made this experience very, very challenging, but it's not impossible. If you're just willing to stick it through, you can do this. And the game is fun anyway, so why not? You also have to a minus like all the bosses in the game so that requires you to like not take as much damage to make sure you're parrying often to make sure you're using your super meter and i think time plays a role as well so you've got to be really efficient to get those a minus ranks cuphead was 71 hours well not for the platinum but because that's dlc hours in there too so i don't know i think the platinum was like around 60 or so i don't really remember next up is gta 5 now i haven't done the dlc for this and i don't think i ever will and people always ask me where is the gta 5 video i have a gta trilogy video i have a gta 4 video but there's no gta 5 video i'm gonna tell you right now this version of gta 5 here is an auto pop from the ps4 version i think this is the only game that i have auto popped the trophies for if it's going to be anyone this is a deserving one because it's so tedious it takes like 200 something hours i think for the platinum 0.1 percent of people have it but the reason that there's no video for this is because i originally got this platinum in 2016 i was not a youtuber i was in high school so i have absolutely no footage of getting this and i can't i can't get any footage for it so no, there will never be a GTA 5 video. I'm not going on a new account to get this platinum just to make a video for it because I don't want to put 200 hours into something. I'd rather just start and move on to next like newer games, you know? GTA 5 have 871 hours. A lot of that is casual, so I don't really know. Next up is Red Dead Redemption 2. This is another 0.1%. This is another game where people are like, well, where's the video for Red Dead Redemption 2? There is not ever going to be a video for Red Dead Redemption 2. I play this on stream. Now, the reason there won't be a video is because when I first picked up this game in 2018 I got like half of the trophies and I ended up quitting because it was so tedious it came out when I was in college and I, I couldn't do it I didn't want to do it anymore when I was doing this YouTube channel I wanted to clean up the trophies and I was like okay well let's play Red Dead Redemption 2 on stream instead of a video because I already had half the trophies and I didn't want to make a video where I didn't have zero trophies that was my mindset back then not really the same anymore but back then I was like, I'm not gonna make a video about a game I already have half the trophies for because it's not my full experience. So I'll play it on stream instead and just document it on streams. Those streams are public or they're unlisted. If you wanna go watch them, you can watch them. And I can't just take the clips of the stream, edit them and post them into a video because stream footage and video footage are, you know, it's some complications where I can't edit the footage as well. The video would not be that good. So no, no Red Dead 2 video ever. Sorry, but um, that's just how it has to be. But Red Dead 2 is so tedious because you have to like, do all this, the gold medals, which requires you to like beat missions under like time constraints, accuracy constraints, things of that nature. There's also a whole bunch of collectibles you need to get. And then for multiplayer, you have to reach rank 50, which is gonna take a very long time. And the fastest way to do it is just to like get these cards, collect cards around the map and other collectibles and you sell them back for money and you get to level 50 that way. But it takes so long and it's so boring. And I personally had help from Nate. Thank you, Nate, for, you know, helping me with that. But if you don't have help, you can do it yourself. It's really not that hard. And that's the fastest way to get level 50. And it just takes a long time. Red Dead is 291. Some of that is also casual, but most of it is for the trophies. Next up is Batman Arkham Knight. I actually did do the DLC for Arkham Knight. And I put all the DLC into the video that I made, as well as just the base platinum experience. Arkham Knight is not a hard platinum, but the DLC has some of the hardest trophies I've ever went for. But for the base game, you just have to do like two playthroughs, I think. And there's this one trophy called Brutality 101, where you have to like perform, I think, 15 different moves in one combat free flow. And people say that that trophy is really hard. It is a little bit challenging, but if you just pause the game and then look at the list of moves you have to do, pull it off right like right after you unpause and just continue re like redoing that process, it's pretty pretty simple. There are also AR challenges where you do stuff like races, you do like stealth things, you do like uh, combat ones where you have to like maintain your combo. It's a good game. Arkham Knight is good. I do want to play the other Arkham games. I'm not sure if I'll play every single one of them, but Arkham City is going to be the next video after this one. And this is a 0.6% completion. Arkham Knight took me 160 hours, but that's for all the DLC included. Next up, Ali Ali 2. Welcome to Hollywood. 0.7% of people have this. It's not an easy platinum at all. If you don't know what this game is, it's a 2D skateboarding game where you have to pull off some crazy things with the thumbsticks 
for like most of the trophies because you have to do like some crazy moves like with the skateboard that makes your thumbs actually hurt and this is one that i actually gave up on years ago and then i finally went back to finish it in a video there's not much to say about this other than it's just like you got to do some crazy stuff with the thumbsticks like i said already ali ali 2 took me 56 hours next up is ape escape 9.5 percent of people have this platinum and i haven't done this not on stream not in a video this is like completely like no footage exists of this even though it it was done just back in august i was going to put this in a video where i was like racing either to 100k subs or 100 platinums first I wanted to get 100 platinums before I would hit 100k subs and back then it was really close but the sub count was rising very fast and I could not keep up so the video was like very boring and not competitive whatsoever so I scrapped it and the next few games you're gonna see were supposed to be in that video but this was like the first one that I did I played this on PlayStation Plus premium where you have like the rewind feature that made this a lot easier it's a very easy platinum it takes you I think I don't know five hours or so but the controls for this game are absolutely horrible because this game is like historic ape escape was nine hours next up is bunny raiders another game that was supposed to be in that video it only has 12 trophies 7.5 percent of people have the platinum this game is free you can download it right now if you want to if you want to get an easy platinum now this is not like one of those my name is mayo type platinums where you don't have to put in any effort you actually do have to put in effort make it through the levels fight enemies to do this but it's not hard at all i think you can get in like two hours or something bunny raiders one hour Next up is Ice Age Scratch Nutty Adventure. This is another one that was supposed to be in that video. And it's just like, I don't know, you go around solving puzzles, a little, do some platforming, very basic stuff, very easy game and very short platinum. You know, you can get this very quickly. So not much to say about this either. Next is GTA 4. Now I will not be doing the DLC for GTA 4. I just don't feel like doing it. But the base game, I did this on PS3. I feel like the percentage went up from 0.1 to 0.2 i'm not sure it could have i'm not i don't really know yeah this game was very tedious now people were asking me how do you play gta 4 on the ps5 i was getting that comment so much you can't i played it on ps3 i literally had to go out and buy a whole ps3 just to make this video because it's not available on anything else other than ps3 and obviously like xbox 360 but for playstation you can only play it on the ps3 this is so tedious because there's so many collectibles you have to do you have to do stunt jumps you have to like shoot 200 pigeons and uh, that might be it for the collectibles but there, you also have to like speed run the game in 30 hours. Luckily for me, I did that in 2012 because this was one of those games where I played it as a kid and then I wanted to get all the trophies for it when I got older for a video here on the channel, which that video is also about to hit a million views. Definitely check it out if you haven't, it's a good one. But I did that speed run trophy in 2012, like unbeknownst to me, I, I didn't even do it intentionally. Somehow I got it done in 30 hours back then. I was actually addicted to the game there as a little 12 year old. No, I was like 13 back then. It was like December. Too young to be playing a game like this, but I loved it. I was addicted to it. Really fun game. Now for the multiplayer, that's where things get tough. And that's why a lot of people can't get the platinum anymore because the multiplayer is dead and you actually need a group of boosters to help you do this and that's what i did for my video i found people here within the community on the channel and they helped me out with it and some of those trophies are very tedious and you have to do some very boring stuff for them so i'm not going to go in depth on it but if you don't have a group to do it you basically can't next up is my hardest platinum ever splasher now only one percent of people have this platinum and you might say well how is this your hardest platinum if only one percent of people have it whereas like other games had lower percentages that's because percentage is not always tied with difficulty splasher has one percent because it's not a popular game it's not nearly as popular as super meat boy is because this game was never free super meat boy was free years ago so a lot of people knew about it through that if this game becomes free i'm sure you'll see that number start to drop but this is harder than super meat boy this is harder than everything i've ever played this was a game that legitimately had my mental health declining because i was like mentally going through it contemplating if it was possible genuinely sad because i could not complete these trophies you have to speed run every single level in this and you have to get like the platinum times on those individual level speed runs and then you also have to do three full game speed runs there's 22 levels so you speed run each individual level and get the fastest time on each individual one and then you speed run the game on three separate occasions one of them where you just play through all the levels consecutively the second one you have to save like half of these guys they're called splashers you save them they're like hard to reach places throughout the level you go out and jump and grab them and then on the third one you have to save every single one of them the game takes like 45 minutes to complete if you're not saving any of the splashers so if you get to the end and you end up messing up then you have to restart from the beginning that's 45 minutes down the drain for the second speedrun is like 50 minutes down the drain for the third speedrun it's like 73 minutes down the drain if you mess up this game legitimately broke me and I have a video for it if you want to see the full experience but I did this on stream and if you were there you kind of know how that went for me I still have PTSD from this but that's not even the hardest part I didn't even mention it the hardest part of this game is doing the no death run at least in my opinion it's the no death run you got to get through all 22 levels consecutively without dying you die once and that's it you're back to the beginning 
and I tried so many times to do this and I just kept dying. I would die in the last level. I would die in like the second to last level, the third to last level and my heart rate would just go through the roof because I was so scared. All I wanted to do was be done with it, but it was just so difficult. This is my most proud platinum ever because of the struggle that I went through to get this. I don't recommend you play it. Please do not do it. I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Splasher took me 214 hours. Next is Red Dead Redemption. So this is the first Red Dead Redemption. I don't have the DLC done for it. I will not be doing it, but I made a video for about this recently. And Red Dead 1, was a, it was a good game. It's not as tedious as Red Dead 2. People ask me, which is harder, Red Dead 1 or Red Dead 2? Red Dead 2 is definitely more tedious and definitely harder. There was one trophy for this where you had to reach level 50 on multiplayer, and that required me to play the same hideout, gang hideout for 18 hours straight. Not, not 18 hours straight, but 18 hours total. And if you saw the video, you know what I'm talking about, but I literally replayed the same gang hideout, killed the same 22 enemies for 18 hours. On top of that, the single player trophies are kind of tedious themselves. Like this is still a tedious platinum. It's not like a cakewalk one, but I like the game Red Dead. It's a really fun game. 0.3% of people have the platinum. Next up is GTA 3, the definitive edition. Ugh. The definitive edition. 2.1% of people have this one and it's kind of annoying because they're like missable trophies and you have to be very careful with how you approach the game. But if you follow the trophy guide, you should be okay. Although the trophy guide isn't the best. I would recommend if you're gonna play this, use Power Picks trophy guide. I think that one is the best one. But this is like your typical GTA trophy list, like stunt jumps, collectibles, and you know, all that stuff that you already know if you've played any of the other ones. GTA 3 took me 52. Next up is GTA Vice City. 0.9% of people have this one, so quite lower than GTA 3. I would say that's probably because of this Take the Cannoli Trophy, which is kind of tedious and it's kind of like the hardest one. There's different ways to go about it. I'm not gonna go in depth here because that's not what this is for. Better game than GTA 3 was, but the trophy list between GTA 3 and Vice City, they are very similar aside from this one. This one is different. And yes, I've heard on like the original version that this was even harder because you needed to get like a million criminal rating as opposed to here on the definitive edition where you only need like 100,000. Thank God I didn't have to go for a million. Vice City took me 61 hours. Next up, GTA San Andreas. 1.5% of people have this one, so more than Vice City, probably because there's no Take the Cannoli Trophy. But this will take probably the longest out of all three, at least it did for me, and I made a video where I platinumed all the all of these games in one video. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. The trophy list for this is pretty much similar to the other two because they all came in a package together. Obviously, there's different ones, but uh, this one was, it definitely took me the most time. Probably my favorite out of, out of the trilogy. I think it's the most close game to like a modern day GTA. The other ones are very like old school with the controls. This one is still too to a certain extent, but it, I think it's better. San Andreas took me 89 hours. Next up is Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. 2% of people have the Platinum. I was playing this on stream recently. I know most of you guys saw that, but if you didn't, I used to play this game in 2019 and I quit on it. I don't know why. I, uh, I was dumb, but then I went back and got it done like a few days ago. I don't really remember much about this game because I did most of it like in 2019, but you just have to 100% all the main missions. You have to obviously beat the game and stuff. And I think there's some collectibles you have to go for, but Assassin's Creed is my favorite franchise. So, you know, I don't mind doing this kind of stuff. And then lastly, we have Assassin's Creed Liberation. This was packaged with Assassin's Creed 3. 2% of people have this as well. I just did this and got this on stream last night. This is an easy platinum. And I wanted this to be my 100th platinum because it would mean I would have platinumed every Assassin's Creed game in the entire series. This was the final one I needed and I wanted it to be number 100 and it was. Assassin's Creed 3 was 217 hours, but that's mixed with Liberation as well. As for some of the games I may play in the future, people have been telling me to play like the simulator games like Job Simulator, Surgeon Simulator. Surgeon Simulator specifically looks kind of crazy. There's this one trophy for doing a teeth transplant in under three minutes. It looks insane. It's a pretty tough platinum from what I've heard. I actually went to the dentist recently and he told me that the only reason he did a good job on my teeth was because he had the platinum for this game. I had to get one of my teeth fixed and after it was done, he asked me how it was. I was like, oh, it's fantastic. And I was like, how does one become so skilled as you? And he was like, first you have to get that teeth transplant trophy in Surgeon Simulator and then get the rest of the trophies as well. Apparently that was the best practical learning experience he could have. Really though, he was actually a really good dentist. If you're in New York and you want a good dentist, I'll put their Instagram page in the description description you can check them out if you end up going there just tell them nick ar sent you now i said earlier i'm also going to be going for arkham city yes i will be doing that for the next video i heard it's very tough and i want to challenge myself so we're going to do it for the next vid i also said i want to do all the souls games so like all the dark souls games i want to do sekiro people have been asking me to do sekiro sekiro if i'm going to do any souls game that would be the next one i want to do demon souls as well but i don't know when i'm not really sure exactly when i'll be playing these games but just know these ones that i'm telling you are the ones i'm most likely to do doesn't mean 100 i'll do them but i'm more likely to do them than ones that people always ask devil may cry 5 is another one that I want to finish. I started that on stream, but then I stopped streaming because I was having power issues. But I want to go back to it for a video. 
Do I want to make it its own video or put it within a smaller video? I haven't figured that out yet, but I want to do that as well. It's a super hard one. And then obviously God of War Ragnarok just came out. No, I will not be making a video for God of War Ragnarok. Well, I will eventually, but not right now as soon as it comes out. People tend to not watch videos of games that have just come out because they don't want to be spoiled. I'm sure a lot of you feel that way. But then there's also a good amount of you who want to see me play Ragnarok. I will play it, but I'm going to give it some time. Maybe like after Christmas, that's my guess is when I'll make it because then a lot of people will have the game and they'll have played it and they'll have the experience and I don't have to worry about people not wanting to watch my video for spoiler purposes. Now, obviously I didn't show all 100 platinum trophies in this video because this would be way too long. Here I have a playlist with two other videos where I went over my trophy collections in those as well. If you watch those, you will be caught up on every platinum trophy I've ever gotten.